We're here, we're at SAC Expo, let's do it. About a nine hour journey. Look, the game she was holding for me. Yeah. It's from Scumbag Reseller. What a scumbag. We are buying drinks. Hey, Gabo, you lost, you're not allowed to talk anymore. Fix the baseball, right? Yeah. This dark dragon I graded for my son again. So a lot of people have seen this before, but only kind of second hand. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't want to say it. 40. 40 bucks? Oh my god! here in Sacramento, California for the SAC Gamers Expo. It has been a long time since we have been here. Oh, oh, that, was oh. like, that, was, that was a little, uh, uh, little close. Wait, wait, wait. We're with the wives. We got me, Ricky, Gabo, and... Ricky, you ready, bro? Oh, I'm ready now that I got my drink. Finally, bro. Girls, are you ready for us to leave you all day? Woohoo! We got, of course, the usual crew coming from across the land. John all came down, did a trek together, about a nine hour journey, but we know it's gonna be worth it because we're here. <laughs> boys, 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 boys. Who's ready, guys? Yeah! Steel games. Wow. Are you gonna buy more toys or games? Quick. Toys, toys. No. More toys or games? Science. Science, I like wow. it. The different YouTubers, but we also have Rob and Josh from Retro Hunters and Jay. Yeah. Oh, oh, Why'd you hit him so hard? Dude, oh, hey, bro, don't take it too oh, far. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> now I feel bad. <laughs> we're here, we're at SAC Expo. Let's do it. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go hunt and hopefully cure Ricky's addiction of Hot Wheel Collect. Pulled up and look, look at this shirt and hat. <laughs> right when we yep. walk in, wait. I got gifts too. Already? Oh, dude, dude, did you see did you see this tattoo right here? So we're walking into the expo, and as we're walking in, I see this guy walking up, rocking all of our merch. I mean retro liberty, so he's an old school fan hat. I got some gifts for you. This is dude, sick, that bro. is awesome. Dude, I found that at the state sale for <laughs> super, super cheap. So and he gives me a 2011. Bart Simpson Santa Cruz skateboard. And this is like one of my favorite shapes of a skateboard. This board was inspired by Bart Simpson's skateboard from the TV show. As you can see, it's got the Bart Skull graphic on there. It comes pre-gripped, this custom grip job. It's 8.8 .8 inches wide. So this, you can tell, you know like a lot of people are like remaking the old style board. This isn't a remake, this is for sure. OG as it gets. Yeah, you yeah. can also tell by the truck stamping right That's here too. Bart's so. board. Dude, thank you, dude. dude. Awesome. Woohoo! Not because it's even Bart or Santa Cruz or because it's old. It just has that perfect retro feel, but also not too retro where you feel like you can't do stuff on it. I love it. It's awesome. But then he gives. It's okay. I'm gonna go big right now. Uh oh, let's see. Oh. This is for Ricky. Oh, for Ricky. Oh, oh. I found this, I was laughing so hard. Then he gives me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ricky. Yeah. Hot Wheels hat. Honestly, the coolest hat. It's like a red and black Hot Wheels hat. Hot Wheels, Ricky! And some Hot Wheels. <laughs> I love how I've been getting Hot Wheels stuff. Bro, thank you so much, bro. Yeah. That is oh, awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, dude. Hot Wheels, Ricky! Oh, 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 dude! So he gave me a Iron Maiden, the PC game, Ed Hunter. And it's got the yeah, he got the game. Oh my oh, God, dude, bro. Oh, God. Thank you, I don't know if I ever told you two things. I love Maiden, and I was looking for that CD slash game. Oh, 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 oh,
See, Sabbath. now I'm paranoid. Also, he gave me a cool Black Sabbath shirt. I get so paranoid, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I get it, I get it. I get it. Bro, that's thank you. Yeah, this is how you slap. Yeah, yeah. Oh! oh. 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 It hurts, like. It's <laughs> <laughs> cold. Uh oh. Sorry, I had the camera rolling. I don't it's alright. Be that guy. Be that guy. Be that guy. You caught me eating. I'm I'm hungry. It's breakfast time. What are you eating? Yeah, um, it's gas station right. croissant it sandwich. I walk into the expo, and it's a moment that I've been waiting for, forever. What's up, man? How you doing? I am greeted by Rob and Josh of the Retro Hunters. If you've watched this show, I have talked about them a hundred times. The guys, the reason I started doing YouTube in the first place. They're here. These two are like pretty much the defining reason. I was like, my friend Ricky, we need to start a YouTube channel. This is what I've always been waiting for. It's amazing, it's awesome, and these guys are great. I never thought this day would come. We, we hug, we hug again. Yeah, let's do it. Oh God. Hey guys, man. Time to hunt, and I'm in there, and I can see our buddy, the scumbag reseller. And I say that with a term of endearment because we've met he's him before. Here, man. What's going on? Two years ago, he's an awesome guy. Uh, let's see. Oh! I modified it this year too, so I'm like, make me an offer, man. I see while I'm talking, I spot two VHS tapes. Two VHS tapes that I've never seen before, though. So I just walked in on the spot. It's two Mega Man VHS tapes, and I gotta say, oh, whoa. I've been collecting VHS tapes for a while now, and I've never seen these ones. So I'm like, I got, I gotta pick these up. I gotta check them out. Dang, dude, these are sick. Hey, you are very attractive. How much are these? <laughs> Robo Sore Park and 20,000 Leaks Under the Sea. I like what they did with that name, by the way. Because I could do five bucks each on the, those ones. So, bam. <laughs> There's 200 in there. Can I get some change? <laughs> in all honesty, I, I just I wanted to have them. I might even share them with the community on whatnot. I'll take these for 10 bucks right here. Awesome! Woohoo! I'm not sure yet. I'm just <laughs> here to have. <laughs> really good. <laughs> Alright, that's good. I don't have a VHS player, but I don't know if I ever told you I love G.I. Joe. And this is an awesome display. Look at this. We also get stuff at Scumbag. I, I get an Xbox game, and then we're going to stake fortune fighters for the Xbox. I haven't played it. And then I get uh, Gabo's uh, G.I. Joe VHS. Gabo needed this. So we're going to G.I. Joe. I give it to the great J nah. from the game. Hunters. Hey, I'm, I'm naked out here in a towel. I guess we look like a couple creeps. Yeah. <laughs> Walking around through the expo and I happened to spot another dude that I recognized from when we went to SAC two years ago. Our homie from, from two years ago now, he gives me an old skateboarding magazine. Just gave me this, I love this. I love this type of stuff. Also, it's a poster book. I've been collecting a ton of posters. I mean, Steve Caballero, Lance Mountain, and Tony Hawk right there. But while I'm talking to him, I see out of the corner of my eye, an NES Zapper. This thing's beautiful! The Zapper, so obviously we've all played with the Zapper a million times. Norm just did a video on it, by the way. I'm like, oh my gosh, I really never see them in the box. I don't know why. I'm sure they're there, but I've just never focused in on it. But I never really see it in the box. I love the old Nintendo box type stuff. Stupid rifle. He caught me sleeping again. Um, this is just beauty beyond beauty. You got Duck Hunt there, you got the clean colors. <laughs> That's something, did you just fart? Oh. Light guns, man, I just did a whole bunch of research on them too, watching Norm's video. Really cool the way they work with the lights and you can't use them with new TVs. This is awesome, this is beautiful. That box is God level too. Stupid beautiful. What are you? Wow. Let's-a go! Let's go! Oh, I got the- Oh! 
Ow! All right, so at the same booth with our buddy, I, we see this countdown at Gears of War 3. Well, I probably said I said countdown, but it's the countdown clock for Gears of War 3. It's the, I think it's like the launch uh, calendar or the clock from when they were releasing Gears of War 3. I've been wanting one of these. Wow, look at that. So, and I, I just had to ask how much it was because every time I come to his booth, for some reason I always get Xbox stuff. How much? <laughs> I don't want to say it. 40. I feel bad because I, I could tell Gabble wanted it too. Stupid Ricky. He got me sleeping again. Dang. Oh my <laughs> god. It is what it is. <laughs> oh. That thing is sick. Here we go again. Here. <laughs> so, something not right here. <laughs> oh my wait, wait, wait. god. It's a beautiful shirt. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. This is awesome, beautiful. I remember, I remember going into GameStop, and this counter was there. They have always had, I think they had count, countdowns for a couple of them, but this one was always dope. Does he look like Mario right now? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Mega large pop from Darth Vader. Oh, dude! Hey, move! It's a bubble Ooh, here. That's awesome. I, didn't I can do that. that. Yeah, that is sick. <laughs> to all your followers, thank you so much for all the gift. You guys are awesome and bring us happiness. Oh, dude, I love stuff like this. Thank you so much. God bless. It's been like 10 minutes, no, 20 minutes already. And Rifo and Ricky already caught me sleeping, so I need to step up. Did I ever tell you I collect for the OG Xbox? So there's two games that always evade me. One of those games is Futurama. All right, Gabo, come show me. So like a month ago, my old good friend, Elliot from Game Tower, has it on his store, so I call him right away. Hey Elliot, come on dude, I need that game, so you better hold it for me, you know what I'm saying? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Futurama. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, it's weird, why Why is this game built for so much? That's my question. So yeah, he's so cool, he hold it for me. When I get there, I see that beauty, and I have to buy it. And there's so many scratches on this. There's none. Yeah, it's too scratched, bro. So I'm gonna probably go down like 150 bucks. Yeah, why is so scratched? Actually, I didn't pay anything because I did a trade. This game and the other outrun, the expensive one, yes, yes, I sir. think it's a 2006 yes, outrun, evade me. Finally, my good friend Elliot got it. I don't know if I ever told you, we are hooking WhatsApp. It was not, <laughs> it was up too, it was not up. And the other day, I won an auction of all good friend Phoenix. I, I decided, I bought this game the other day, in what not app, you know. So I decided to trade it for Futurama. So I bought for him Donkey Kong Country for the Super NES completing box. I don't know, I don't know the prices, I don't know if it is good or not, but it's my boy Elliot. It's good? Hey, wait. Huh? I just wanted to say it's good, I'm sorry. I didn't hear the question. You're fine. Hi, Whoops. So, I was, I was, why are you laughing? We don't know what Don King Kong Don Country King Kong, that's, I guess. Don King Country. Anyway, oh dude, I suck. Something's not right here. Look what I got. I've been looking for this game for a long now. You know what is this game? Ghost House. Yeah, but I was looking for the Chaplin version. So awesome thing, I've been looking for Mega Yarn Yoshi. I can't find it. It's like every expo we go to, it's either way overpriced or I, I just can't find it. Well, I still do not have this Mega Yarn Yoshi. I've been looking for one, but we walk over to a booth. He has a, he has a Mega Yarn Yoshi and I'm just like, bro, I have to ask. 
how much? I might get this. It's a hundred bucks, but <laughs> don't make me start chanting. For you, a hundred bucks. I'm like, bro. I don't know if it's a good deal, but screaming deal. He says screaming it's a screaming deal. deal. Screaming deal. Says, I'll take it. It's it's really good. Deal. It's 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 pricey, but that's like pricey stuff that I like. The only the only problem is is I did see a table over there that did have Hot Wheels on it. So if you get that, I don't know how much money you'll have left. <laughs> With the Hot Wheels. Just saying. Just saying. Hot Wheels, Ricky. I might, I think I'm gonna go for it. So I took that deal and it was pretty cool. This is my first time using Venmo. I'm really uh, behind the times. Rick Sorry, Nicole. Oh, Intelligent Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back, enjoy the ride. We're on a way. One track, no turning back. Forget yesterday. So we're still walking around the expo, still excited to be buying stuff, and all of a sudden, I see from the same guy I was at earlier, and I don't know how I missed it, growing up wasn't always easy to beat video games. He had a Game Genie complete in box, and now there was a time where every gamer had to, you know, sink a little low and go to the Game Genie. But then, but then Rob from the Retro Hunters walked up, and I could see, and in front of Rob from the Retro Hunters, I'm gonna buy this for $20. 20? In his eyes. He was jealous, and he he felt like he didn't get that experience of finding something NES related at a convention. So I was like, you know what, Rob? Do you wanna pretend like How did you even get behind the glass? What are you doing? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we have you reenact the thing? Uh, okay, scene, ready? <laughs> We reenacted it, and I feel like he felt like he got a good deal. It was really believable acting, too. So what is this? So this right here was a marketing sample for the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Player's Choice Edition. This really, really cool piece. It's a solid, we think it's a wooden block, but again, it's a solid, you know, block there that was used as the, the item that was photographed for either, you know, your KB toys, your Toys R Us ads, you know. So a lot of people have seen this before, but only kind of secondhand. Uh, and here we have the original piece that was used for those advertisements. Wow. Lately, after I found, the, well, not lately, after I found those seal games, something woke up inside of me. So I decide, I'm just telling you guys now, I decide to start collecting OG Capcom NES game, but it has to be complete in box. I never realized how basic the lettering, C, the font is for Ghost Destroy the Enemy. So I found a really, really copy of Commando. Really hard game. But I love that game, by the way, for 50 bucks. Well, well, I'm buying this. I don't collect NES games, but I'm buying this because I'm planning to collect all OG with this great NES game. How much? Boxes complete. Really, really good shape. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. It's a good price. Good price, good game, cool guy. I love it. Commando, which is funny because I don't wear underwear. All right, keep going. I can stay here for a lifetime. As long as you and I am as close as we could be without a hug. I know you know I've been waiting for something where It's time to mix up the day a little bit. We go take a break. We go to Chipotle. We go off campus. You know, we didn't want to go to the food truck this day, which even though they're really good. It's time to go eat. It's about midway through the day. We're filming all day just today, but we need to take a break to refuel sustenance. We just wanted to mix it up, the scenery for a minute. Go to Chipotle, think of a beat em up. And you gotta go, and you gotta find your turkey on the floor, and then you can be repowered up to go buy more games. Get some good food. So, we had all these options, but in the end, we ended up doing Chipotle. What do you get at Chipotle, Ricky? So I get a barbacoa bowl or a barbacoa burrito because... Piccolo. 
Barbacoa is delicious. Ricky's down in some some barbacoa, which I've never tried. And then we go to Rite Aid to go uh, to go buy a bunch of the boys, you know, some 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 monsters, some energy drinks, whatever they need, you know, to, to refuel. Picked up some drinks for retro hunters. Jay, somebody else, and Alan from Whatnot. Alan from Whatnot's here, by the way. Our friend for the day, because this expo is going strong. Okay. <laughs> what is this place? <laughs> head back to the expo and I, I have something in my brain. I Earlier I saw, I've been been putting a lot of posters in my room, Ricky knows this, Gabo knows this, Yeah. and earlier over there I saw a Batman Nintendo Power poster framed already and I was like, man, I, I have been doing a lot of framing and putting posters up in my room. For like 20 bucks it's from Nintendo Power, he framed it himself, but A, it's Nintendo Power, B, it's only 20 bucks and we know framing stuff in itself costs around that price. So Yeah, just to frame it. It's here, it's now, let's go see if it's, well hopefully it's still there, let's go check. From, it's, not there. it's from Scumbag Reseller. Scumbag Reseller. Check out his booth and see if he still has it. My phone just fell out of my pocket. What a scumbag. So with that said, I go back to his booth. I still have it. it? I'm holding it for you all day. There you go, brother. Oh, that is just so pretty. And there it is. It's the Batman Nintendo Power poster. And man, when I picked this thing up, I, I didn't realize how beautiful it was. You know, I've seen a lot of original Batman artwork and stuff like that, but I feel like this one really feels like that good mix of like, but I love that it's old Batman, but I just love the little artwork that's along with it. You got the Joker up here. You got like the Batman inside of Batman right here, kind of looking different angle inside the Batcave. And it looks nice, and it's already framed. A poster, yes, it's just from torn out from Nintendo Power. And trust me, as someone who's been framing stuff, 20 bucks is well worth the price of not buying all the frame stuff and getting it all put together and whatnot, whatnot, and whatnot. From 1902 AD. Yeah? Mm. Roughly. Thank you, Batman. I love you. You are my only superhero. <laughs> <laughs> For my son! So, Riquito, guess what? What? Uh, I cannot believe in this event I found another one of my most wanted other game that always evade me did I ever tell you I was looking for two games that evade me one it was Futurama I already find it which one Outrun 2006 for the OG Xbox thanks to this beautiful lady look the game she was holding for me yeah. But the price was awesome. And you know what is the best thing? I can use the brown car here, right? Brown car. Brown car. Brown to brown right here. Hey, you go. brown Wait, power. <laughs> can I use the white card and pay double? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. From my good friend from Instagram, she got amazing, amazing game room. You know her. Yeah. It's crazy to me that Gabo really was like an hour ago talking about how he, this game's been evading him. Yeah. Yeah. Now here it is. Outrun 2006 is not the best, but it's really good. It's really good arcade game. Is it better than 2007? Uh, I don't think that uh, it's real. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. I still don't know why it's so expensive, but I don't know. That's the story. You know what? Whatever. This is like an arcade classic, so it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good time. But it's better than the original one. Not the music. Nothing like the original music. Dun, 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 dun. 170. 170. The game and the hat. Yeah. 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 Bye. Bye. <laughs> Your brown card can suck it. For being an OG Xbox game, it looks really good. You know why? Why? It's Sega! Just like that, baby. He got it. Outrunners 2006 on the Xbox for 170 when she had a list for 200. That's $30 off. <laughs> You're like, you like what? <laughs> So 
So I happened to go back by the booth where I saw Ricky get that big Yoshi from and I saw, it's just the coolest box. Again, just one of those things that always, you know, the art can speak to you sometimes. And for me, it was the green N64 controller in box. You have a, a weird mix. You got Mario and Bowser, you got a Storm Trooper, but I love that just Fulgore is there. And Fulgore from Killer Instinct? When you think about it, it's like, what, Nintendo thought that Killer Instinct character would be the best branding? I don't know. Like, at what point in Nintendo, like, Fulgore is gonna be who we're putting on here. Right. You know, it's just kind of an odd thing. But the box is clean. It's perfect. It's just a box I of mean. rocks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's in there. Absolutely. Look at it. Check it out. Ooh. It's beautiful. It's clean. The thumbstick works great in this thing. I took it out of the box. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good thumbstick right there, too. And that was my time to shine. But now, I shall descend. Wait. Wait. Yes. Can you see the little piggies crawling in the dirt? After all the little piggies, life is getting worse. So perfect, Nintendo 64. Beautiful, awesome, and a wonderful prize from this amazing man. So, so there it is, hey! Ricky. Yeah. Dude, look, a dust collector. <laughs> So if you've been watching the show for a while, Gabo has gotten a lot of notoriety on his Street Fighter skills. Rightfully so. I've seen him at Portland Retro Gaming Expo take out a line of 40 people without getting beaten. Uh, just recently he beat Daniel on the show, he's beat Elliot on the show, he's beat a ton of people on the show, he beats us all the time. Now we've beat him like sporadically once or twice throughout the lifetime. But in reality, Gabo wins like 99% of Street Fighter matches. So, so Gabo's losing right now at Street Fighter. It's pretty fun to watch. Someone challenges Gabo. It's someone we met before. Jack. Jack, a really nice guy. And in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, do you want to play Gabo Street Fighter and get whooped on camera? He's like, film it. Uh, let's, let's see what happens. He, round one, he just lost. Round two, I'm predicting. He's gonna lose again. The round goes on, the first round, and I'm like, oh, they're, they're pretty good and evenly matched and oh. Tied up? Tied up. Tied up? <laughs> How you guys feeling? Nervous. I'm nervous. Sweaty He's hands. good. He's good. <laughs> good. I'm sweating. Things progress, things progress, things progress, things progress. Yeah. Oh my God. They got me. Gabo loses. And in my head, I'm like, Gabo? You lost? If you lost your touch, maybe he got a one-time a one -time lucky thing, so they rematch. He lost again. Wow. So he beat you, you twice. He beat me twice. <laughs> yes, I lost. But even Michael Jordan lost sometimes, so it is what it is. I'll be back. So I think it's time to let him go. Gabo, it's time to go, bro. Finally, finally. Finally, I found somebody that beats me. I bonked my head on the dinghy. <laughs> so something that's important for me is to pick up something for my son! For my son! You have to say it. So I was just honestly looking at a bunch of cards with Elliot, like, all right, I'm trying to find some for my kid. For my son! Uh, Elliot, I don't know anything about Pokemon. What's this booster box, training box? What, what are these cool bigger boxes? You know, kids, they want to open up big items. And Elliot, without warning, pulls that off and says, please give this to your son from Game Tower. It's a gift for your son. And I was like, oh, dude, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. I'll pay you. He's like, no, 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 here, it's a gift. Thank you for my kid. That's too nice of you. But I do also want to buy some of these for my son as well, just to grab him some for his stockings and whatnot. So I'm gonna go through and grab a bunch. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Like, you don't have to do that. And I'm like, whispering to Ricky, I'm like, Ricky, well, I wanna still pay him. I wanna give him money. You know, he has a shop, I wanna support him. So I start getting individual cards. My son loves individual Pokemon cards. He likes to get like, the, you know, the five to $10 cards one by one. So, all right, cool, I'm gonna buy cards for you to support. And I'm like, here you go, man. I give him the money, he gives it back to me. I will not take it. And I'm like, and he literally won't take my money. So again, thank you for the supporting. You guys saw, I tried to pay him. 
All right, I'm not trying to swindle For him. his son. Look at that. <laughs> For his son. Elliot, no, really, like, please take the money, dude. Like, I get it. Like, thank you. I appreciate it. And he's like, no, man, just keep it. I it's all good. Like, and I'm like, okay, okay. I'll keep it. And one more try. I can see the redness in your brown skin right now. We're talking with him, sitting there, and I'm like, there's a graded card there that's pretty cool. Again, I was like $30 or $40 graded card. I can't even remember. I literally tried again to buy this from him. This dark dragonite graded for my son again. I'm like, I'll take this graded card. And I literally like threw the money at him. Like, take the money, take it, and like walked away. And he literally just grabs money and throws it. Like on the floor. And he's like, and I literally gave him the money and walked away and he literally threw it. Like, take the money. I'm not taking your money. You don't pick it up, someone else will. Too kind, the community, I mean, Ali at Game Tower, they've always been cool to us, but it's just, it's crazy to see, man, when people are just like this. We don't deserve it, but it's just, it's amazing. He's a great guy, does great stuff. It, off camera, when the camera was off, he, he even said that, he's like, bro, it, it doesn't matter to me. The money, the dollars mean nothing. This is about family, brotherhood, and all that. So, super cool, made my day, and this is gonna be a dream come true for him on Christmas morning. I'm gonna love it, I can't wait to watch it as his dad. Something, Rudy, he's honestly like one of the biggest reasons we love coming down here because it's Rudy. What's up, bro? Hey guys, how's it going? This is Rudy from the Retrofix here at SAC Gamers Expo 2021. Rudy hooked it up and so did Trung, dude. Well, I feel like you guys haven't had enough stuff yet, so we're gonna go ahead and. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no way! We need more stuff. No way! Oh my God. They are awesome, and this time they customized. A Pixel Game Squad one, honestly. Oh my well, dude, the that. They're big. And really cool and, and really they, detailed. Yeah. So, you know, we have to give you some of this. Oh, yes! <laughs> that is awesome. That is bold print, too. I love that. And and they give us uh, the hoodies. The, no, no, the hoodies. The, the, beanie. the beanie. Sometimes you guys like to wear beanies, right? Uh -oh. So, here you guys go. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <at> this. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, that's the amazing. The beanie patch is even bigger than the patch they initially gave us. It was like five inches. That is freaking amazing, no. Rudy and Trunk. You guys, as always, bro. Dude. I will say, for about people like me, that hat is a most. This is the Retrofix gloves right here. Trunk made those for me. And, and I'm gonna wear that thing a lot. That hat is amazing, very detailed. I love it. The cool thing is, they got them sizes E so each one is a different size. They like knew our head sizes. I don't even know how they got Probably it. Probably he was studying us. Like, oh, this guy has a big head. <laughs> that was Gabo. <laughs> Gabo got the XL, I got the large. And, and I've watched this community grow, and I want to be a part of helping it grow. You know, longtime fan, big time supporter. Check out Retrofix oh, too, on, also on Whatnot. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're always, yeah. We're always Woo! in there popping around. With yeah, you guys. Mr. Rudy is always live on Whatnot at least three times a week. So make sure you guys check that out. And also follow us at the Retrofix at the underscore retro underscore fix on Instagram. Honestly, thank you so much, Retrofix. Rudy and Trunk, you guys are the best. Thank you so much, man. They always treat us like family. You guys. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. He's not warty. I guess he doesn't have warts. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs>Thank you so much, SAC Gamers Expo, Chris, for getting us out here, for getting the whole squad out here. We got to hang out with all you cool people. Our wives loved it too. They got to come around, go shopping. We got a game hunt, just have a great time with the community, the people. Look at the hat. The best, I love it. Jealous. Love it. Hey, to everybody, to all the followers that stop us to say hi, Thank you so much. No matter where we've gone, the people have been always amazing, and Sacramento has been no different to us. So, fun fact, uh, Nick, Lance Mountain was my next door neighbor for five years. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, so good. Thank you so much. Honestly, we had a blast. Thank you, everybody. Sacramento is awesome, and it's cool, and I love it. But thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Can't wait to be back. Let me go. Huh, what do you say?
Toys, toys, toys. All right, I knew something. Woo, Pokemon. How do you feel? <laughs> Riggs, please don't die on camera. Bye. 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 Dude, Dude. Well, you're filming. I have to fart. Oh, you want to come out? No. no. We're not the game chasers. I'm, I'm trying. I'm not I'm trying not to cry right now. Are you freaking kidding me right now? <laughs> Just kidding. I would even wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt. I'm happy. Okay. I was feeling immortal. <laughs> <laughs> this is. There's a little bit of Gabo's. I got a little bit of Gabo's Street Fighter skills on my shoe. Oh my hand. He's trying to hold my hand. Dude, he's cold here. <laughs> my so, nipples are hard. <laughs> Yeah, I have this tattoo to my body. But you said it's Xbox. Yeah, but uh, he's... SEGA! These tattoos. I know, buddy. SEGA! Ah, your tooth hurts, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Ricky has a toothache right now. Ripley's, believe it or not, is a good joke, okay? <laughs> this video is brought to you by whatnot. <laughs> it's really not, but... <laughs> we do buy too much stuff. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I apologize. No, yeah, how much is this game? I want to know. He was a trait. Oh my god, I know this guy's got something. He even has the plastic. Plastic. Plastinex. That's it! Better! Really cool, thank you, Phoenix. Whatever you are. Where? Where? <laughs> yeah, we'll go open your car. <laughs> and I was like, can you please shut up and not talk to me? You don't know who I am. I don't think he'll collect Hot Wheels out here. Maybe he'll collect sticks. Here, Ricky, a stick. This isn't a stick. Mm. Hey, I recognize you from mm. a Game Changers movie. The weather's great. And we got Baby Emma and the dog, Aussie. He points like this. Ow! I don't know how he do it. He doesn't drink coffee. He doesn't drink energy drinks. Hey, how you do it, bro? Don't I know. Finally, he grow balls. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. But look at this. It's beautiful out here. The weather outside is frightful and the fire is so delightful. And since we know place to go, let us know. Let's go, let's go to Shack Expo. Come on, out of here. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, no. Ow! Oh.